this is a tutorial in Sony Vegas Pro version 13 related to rendering videos in 4K resolution. 4K resolution is on YouTube at least 3840 by 2160 or for short 2160p just as uh, full HD was called 1080p that was the last number of the res resolution in this case 4k is called 2160p okay so let's see how to render such 4k videos inside sony vegas pro and uh, which codec to use inside this program to render the files first of all let's bring in some 4k videos let's say this one okay after the 4k video was imported into the program the resolution is automatically shown here 3840 by 2160 at almost 30 frames per second okay and let's say we can bring in many more files here and make our cuts and so on crossfade or whatever you want to edit on them okay and after that we should click on this render as button render as and choose a video codec now in this part we can choose everything we can choose anything because not all of these codecs are video codecs for this one for example this one is audio i don't know what is that i think that's audio also audio audio that is an image a still image bitmap for example this one main concept that's a good codec to be used for 4k videos and here's a result also for example the main concept video is this one and it used the OpenCL that is the graphics card and I used 32 megabits bitrate and it generated a 167 megabyte file that is 0.16 gigabytes and the rendering was finished in 8 minutes and 41 seconds okay so that's the main concept AVC codec you can select any of these and just customize the template and for example at frame size we can choose custom frame rate because the 4K resolution 3840 is not present here so custom frame size type in this resolution 3840 by 2160 okay don't allow that thing is the right frame rate 2197 although this one says something different but I will use this one 29 29.97 okay pixel ratio 1 and here at bitrate either use a constant bitrate set it to for example at least 28 megabits or if you use a variable bitrate then you can use let's say I don't know 50 megabits maximum value and let's say around 25 average okay then here at encoding mode you can use either your CPU only I mean or your video card also OpenCL is for AMD video cards ATI Radiance and CUDA is for NVIDIA video cards you can check that one here at system also check GPU and <laughs> it says CUDA is available that's funny because I have an Radeon I have a Radeon video card and that should use OpenCL okay so we could choose that one then here at audio you can choose the quality you can bump it up higher a little bit if you want and click OK give a name to your file and just hit a render okay so that was the main concept AVC codec then here comes trouble for example main concept MPEG codec cannot be used for 
4K videos because if you choose a template and customize it, if I type in here this resolution 3840 and then I click here, then boom, this one is reduced. So it does not even allow us to render at 4K resolution. Okay, so the same thing is for this one also, main concept MPEG2, choose one of the templates, customize it, introduce that 4840, and boom, it's reduced. So it won't allow us to use 4K resolution. Okay, that's an audio codec, audio, now this one is used, it's good also, Panasonic MXF. Okay, the same thing here, choose one of those and customize them. And from here, whoops, it's not this one. Let's see. No, it's not that one. It's Sony XAVC. Okay, so Panasonic is not good at all because there is no 4K resolution. You can't enter it manually and you can't choose it from here either. Okay, so that's not good. QuickTime. Okay, QuickTime is kind of good. Choose any of those templates, customize it, and from here from here you could choose the resolution but of course there is no 4k resolution so choose custom frame size and type in 3840 by 2160 and if I jump from one to other you can see that the resolution is kept it's not modified the frame rate can be modified also and from here you could choose a codec and these are not really good codecs let's see the results here quicktime 4 mpeg that was used and it did the compression in 16 minutes that was the worst one mpeg 4 it was this one so that one was very slow then motion jpeg did it in seven minutes that was faster and the problem with that one is that it generated a large file 2.4 gigabytes okay so motion jpeg i think this one a was used those are some settings okay click ok and you could render the file okay let's see some other codecs Sony AVC, that's a problematic codec. Sony AVC does not allow us to use 4K resolution. For example, if I go to custom frame size and type in this 3840 by 2160, and whatever settings I use here, recommended or automatic, whatever, the problem with Sony AVC is this one, render, oops, an error occurred while creating the file. Okay, so Sony AVC is not good for such high resolution. Sony MXF, that's not on the list, so probably this is not good either. So let's choose a template and yes. That's why it's not good. It's not allowing, not even full HD, not, not to talk about higher resolutions. Let's choose that one, customize template. This one allows maximum full HD, but no 4K resolution. Okay, let's close that one. Sony MXF, that's not on the list, so probably, yes. It does not allow 4K resolution. That's an audio codec, Sony Wave, that's an audio, Sony XAVC. Yes, that is used and it's pretty good also. It generated a medium sized file, but it did the compression in the shortest period of time. 
So Sony X AVC is good for 4K resolutions. You can choose even the highest 4K or the standard 4K. And 29.97 is available. Okay, we could use that codec, Sony X AVC. AVI, I haven't included this one, but this one is good also, I think. Let's choose progressive and oops, there's a problem with the frame size. Let's choose another one. Let's choose HD from AVI. Okay, so this one allows us to use custom frame size. Let's try. 34, 38, uh, 38, 40 by 2160. Okay, progressive 2997. And from here, you could choose a codec. Let's say this one. You have to install this one separately. X264 video for Windows is not inside Sony Vegas. Okay, Lagarit, that's a lossless codec that will generate huge files. So let's try this one. Audio is not modified. Okay, render. So this one is rendering also, but I don't know how much time is needed for this one. Okay, let's cancel it. And let's continue our list. So AVI, it's also okay if you have a good codec. That's a, a, a sound file, sound file, and Windows Media for video. That is also good for 4K. Choose one of the templates and customize it. And this is the audio. Let's go to video. Cast turn bitrate. That's okay. The resolution. Keep original size that copies these settings, the 4K resolution, the frame rate is ok, and bitrate, let's say 30 megabits per second, ok, and render. This one is working also, and it's here on my list. Windows Media Video, it generated a pretty small file, so the compression is pretty good, but it needed quite a lot of time 40 minutes in uh, my test okay and cancel 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 okay whatever so these are the codecs tested in my list which are good for 4k resolution rendering and AVI is also good if you have a 4k I mean a good codec x264 video for windows it's good for this one <sighs> okay that was a long tutorial on which codec to use to render 4k videos inside sony vegas pro 13. thanks for watching and bye bye